Aristotle Highway here, County Road 49, opened up just about half an hour ago. This is where the school bus crash happened. It rolled over and came to rest right before some storage tanks on the side of the road here. Fast, this school bus rolling over after it was hit by a pickup truck. Almost immediately, we're told emergency hatches open. Students and their chaperones began crawling out. Colton Zimbelman was working in a nearby field. I saw a bus flipped over, and then I was looking, and then I saw a bunch of kids on the ground when I first arrived at the scene, and a bunch of ambulances pulled in right here, fire trucks, everything you can think of. A number of people stopped to help the students in trouble. All those students out of the bus before emergency workers arrived. When I showed up, a lot of them were leaned up against the railing and sitting down, and some were, you know, getting help, and people, some were getting pushed away in the stretchers. The bus was loaded with students from Greeley Central and Northridge High Schools. They were heading home from a day at Elitch Gardens in Denver when it crashed on County Road 49 north of Hudson. The truck was southbound here on Well County Road 49, and the driver either fell asleep, we're not quite sure what happened with that yet, and crossed over and hit the bus. The truck ended up in a field far from the bus, its top cab barely visible. Debris was scattered for several hundred feet. Oh, it could have been much worse. Um, this is something that you call a mass, mass casualty incident. A few hours after the crash, a barefooted man with cut up ankles and a female grabbed a bunch of backpacks and left the scene. Officers, though, stayed for hours detailing the crash that left many hurt here and shaken. And tonight, the cleanup continues. You can see that they're loading the school bus up onto a record there. I spoke with some state troopers just a short while ago. They're telling me that the school bus does have seat belts, but it's not clear if the students were wearing them. Meantime, the driver who caused the crash has been cited for reckless driving. Those charges could change depending on the seriousness of the injuries. Reporting live in Will County, I'm Vicente Arenas, Fox 31. Something will continue to follow, Vicente. Thank you. The kids were rushed to several area hospitals for treatment. The good news, none of them have life-threatening injuries. Fox 31's Alex Rose talking to doctors tonight about just what they're seeing. Joining us live now, Alex. Yeah, a bulk of the folks hurt in that crash area. They were brought here to North Colorado Medical Center. Most of them were children, but I got to say, we were there outside the emergency room when a lot of these kids and families were coming out. They seemed in good spirits, some of them even high-fiving each other despite having their arms in slings. Hospital administrators tell me they had 17 patients here. Ambulances bringing in 15, two other patients coming in by private car. We can report tonight that there was one patient here who was in, uh, had a serious injury, and so that patient was transported to another hospital. We're not sure which hospital that is, but all in all, hospital leaders here say very smooth operation. The quality of the response here at the hospital uh, and the work in the field that they did was outstanding. Uh, we're able to uh, we train and prepare for these kind of things, and we're, we're very proud of our teams. Now, hospital leaders are expecting most of the patients here to be treated and released tonight. Eight have been treated and released so far out of those 17. Again, that one patient in serious condition that was airlifted, we're not sure if that was a child or an adult or maybe even the driver of the bus itself. Well, reporting live in Greeley, Alex Rose, Fox 31. Yeah.